Okay, are we live? I think we're live. Hello, replay viewers. First of all, thank you for joining. And uh, today we're going to be doing some anagram quest. We're going to do a crossword and then we'll do a few quiz questions at the end. So do follow, hit the subscribe button, uh, like the live stream, uh, like the uh, video as well. That would be great. Let's come out of here a second and load our anagram quest for today. Pop that to one side. There we go. I like to just have my little face in the corner of the screen because then I know I'm live. So today's puzzle is opposite words, opposite words. So just to remind guys, everyone, this is Anagram Quest. You do get a free game each day if you uh, want to play it. Okay, and um, let me just load up the chat so I can see your lovely comments. And... If you do enjoy these word games, I do come live on a what, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we do Anagram Quest, then we do Wordle, and then some trivia questions. And then on a Friday, we do the Anagram Quest and the crossword. And then we do some trivia questions as well. So, right, let me just check. I am live, yep. So hope to see, hope to see you. Good to see you all. So we'll make a start in... Give it another 30 seconds, just let new people join. And if you get each one of these correct, you get 10 points. Okay, so grab your coffees, grab your teas. Uh, I'm just trying to think, is it some offers? It's Flash Sale Friday as well today, guys, on TikTok Shop. So if you're in the UK, you're looking for a smartphone. If you're looking for um, uh, electric blanket, there's electric blanket on sale. There's also a, I think it's... it's um, it's a portable blender that you can use to make like soups and things, you know, where you put it inside the pan and you can whisk up. So if you're looking for a, one of those, you can get that with, I think it's I think it's 10% off or 20%. I can't remember the exact amount. You'll have to watch the video back. So there's some of the offers today, guys. So let's make a start then. And if you watch on replay, click the link in the box down below and it'll take you to my profile page. So best of luck then, here we go, your first question. Okay, so the opposite of hot, this is just to warm us up. <laughs> it's not what, although this wouldn't warm you up. The opposite of hot. So pop your comments in. Hello Sophie, good to see you. So, okay, is it cold? Cold is correct. I think we're going to get some snow today. I'm not sure, it's starting raining now, so... I wonder if it's going to turn to snow maybe a bit later. Right, number two. The opposite of sorrow. The opposite of sorrow. Cat Mama saying joy. MCT saying joy. Tina says joy is correct. Well done. Number three. The opposite of accept. The opposite of accept. I've got it. Also another name for a place where you would put your rubbish. <laughs> I think, yeah, refuse. Oh, do you say refuse or on a refuge? No, refuse. Or is that something completely different? I'm not sure. Uh, refuse. Am I thinking of something else? Refuse is correct. Well done. Okay, number four. The opposite of sharp. The opposite of sharp. And I should say also, happy St. David's Day. Uh, it's not the first day of spring, not until the 21st of March. But um, meteorologically, it's the first day of spring. But it doesn't feel like it today, does it? Is it blunt? It is correct. Well done, everyone. Let me know in the comments, when do you, th when do you think spring starts? Today or on the 21st? I would say 21st. Okay, number five, the opposite of entrance. The opposite of entrance. Is it exit? Is correct, well done. Refuse is garbage, refuse is tonight. Yep, thanks, Est. Okay, number six. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. I think that's it for today. They're getting shorter, aren't they? So learn blank about words more. Well done, guys. So that was just to get us thinking of just to get our brains going. So Tina says when the clocks change. I agree. 
I agree. For me, it's got to be spring when it's light after seven o'clock on an evening. So that's and that's tends to be when we put the clocks forward an hour. Yeah, when we put them forward. Right. So best of luck then, guys. Let's now do our crossword. If you've never done crosswords before, don't don't um, disappear because I'm not a fan of crosswords. I should say as well, guys, you can get the crossword books. Did you see the video I posted yesterday? I posted it on my story as well. So there's the travel size crossword books. There's the larger size crossword books. And then there's the also the colouring books um, and the word search books as well. So if you're someone that does not does a lot of travelling, but someone who likes to do word searches and things like that, then do check them out. I think they're only £3 each. So, yeah, check them out, guys. Some really good crosswords there. Right, so let's do today's puzzle. Oh, let's do a new one. Well, they're all technically new. Let's go for March. Let's see what comes up in March, seeing it is the 1st of March today. I have no idea what these answers are going to be like, but right, what are we doing here? Am I using a... I can't... I think I'm using a... Um, I don't know why this has all come up. Set up now. Right. Show errors, yes. Right, there we go. Okay, best of luck, everyone. Each one's worth one point. I will give you the clue, and you need to give me the answer. So if it turns red, then the letters are in the wrong place. Okay, we'll get a little sound that appears, I believe, when we get it correct. So your first clue then is drop running down the cheek. Drop running down the cheek. Is it tear? Is correct. Nice. Okay, number five. Not thin as a slice of meatloaf. Not thin as a slice of meatloaf. And this is five letters. Is it thick? Is correct. Well done, Est. Right, number 10. Waterloo Group. Waterloo Group. I know this one. <laughs> Is it ABBA? Is correct. Well done. It's 50 years this year since ABBA won. The Eurovision. And I, I think they had it in March or April. It wasn't in May like as it is today. Oh, it could have been February actually, I'm not sure. When they won it in Brighton in 1974. Okay, number 14. Actress Kendrick or tennis pro Kornikova. Is it Anna? Is correct. Okay, number 15. Like Rome or San Francisco? Like Rome or San Francisco? And it's five letters. Est is saying urban. Is it urban? It's not urban. So it's tricky to see that. The first three lines. Okay, so the first letter starts with the letter H. Five letters beginning with a H. Jilly's saying to skip on to the next one, I think. Second letter is an I, H, I. Third letter is an L, H, I, L. Any guesses? Is it hilly? Is correct. Well done. Hilly, indigo. Well done. Right, 16 across, an Italian car make, an Italian 
car make four letters? I don't think these words have anything to do with March, do they? <laughs> Unless maybe ABBA did win the contest in March. I'm not sure. Is it Fiat? Is correct. Well done, Indigo. Okay, 17 across, four letters. Agenda entry. Agenda entry. Is it date? Not date. Thank you for the likes, guys. Let's see if we can get over a thousand likes to tap that screen. I might say on a Friday, you've got to tap the screen. Let's try and get over 10,000 on a Friday. Okay, is it note? N-O-T-E? Not note. Okay, let's have a clue. Starts with the letter I. Second letter is a T. I think it, I think it could be item. Do you think it's item? Yeah. The owner saying item is correct. Well done. Okay, eighteen across, five letters. A dome-shaped ice house. I think that's pretty easy. Do you think? I think it starts with an I. Yeah, igloo. It always reminds me of that program. Do you remember Pingu? Remember Pingu with the uh, igloo? Okay, igloo. Yeah, igloo. 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 <laughs> right, it's nineteen across. Four letters. Your clue is land measure. Land measure. Is it acre? That one comes up quite a lot, doesn't it, Acre? Is correct. Right, two words now. A month-long celebration of female achievements through the ages. Month-long celebration of female achievements through the ages. Two words. And I'll be I'll be nice, I'll give you the first letter. Starts with a W. Two words. Okay, so it's not snowing here at the minute, but it is quite heavy rain. So I don't think we're going to get any snow unless unless it kind of forms a bit further south of where I am, like over the Pennines, sort of south of the Pennines, like Sheffield, sort of across Derbyshire, and then it might move up. Possible. Any guesses? Let's have another letter. O. I think the first words is it woman or women? So women is your first word. Is it S? Yeah, women's blank. <laughs> that could be anything, but women's blank. Starts with the letter H. Women's. Any guesses? The reason I always mention the weather is because if if we ever get like bad weather, it can affect the live stream. But I think we're good so far. So, okay, next letter is an I. History, I think it could be history. Well done, is correct, Jilly. And indigo, well, well done. Okay, next one, twenty three across. Blank acid, building block of biology. Blank acid, building block of biology. Is it amino? Is correct. Well done, Jilly. Remember, any time you want to, if you want a bit more time watching this on the replay, just pause it after I've given you the clue, and then you can have a bit more time. And do comment in the chat as well when you're on the replay. I'd love to know if you're watching on the replay. Okay, 24, and give it a like. Right, 24 across. Advertising sign gas. Advertising sign gas. Four letters. Is it neon? 
is correct. Well done, Jilly. Okay, 25 across. Stand-up comic Margaret. Stand-up comic Margaret. Three letters. Any guesses on this one? Now, if you look at the down word, 11 down is B-I-C-Y. So I guess it starts with a C. Yep. Can't help you on the next le letters, but... So we know what 11 down is. Any guesses? Three letters begin with a C. Have another letter C, H. This could be anything, couldn't it? Is it an O? Yay! I just thought like a lot of, a lot of surnames. I don't know if it's a surname, but C H O sounded correct. Okay, twenty eight across. Another three letter. Use the down words to help. Hoopsters League, and I'm looking for an abbreviation. Hoopsters League. Abbreviation, I think that is. Hey, is it blocked? Oh, is that for the other one? Sorry, yeah. NBA? Is correct. Well done. My NBA team, if there's any Americans watching, is the 49ers. Because, obviously, my football club is Leeds United. And they're partly owned by the 49ers. Okay, 29 across. They, they did very well, didn't they, to get to the uh, final. Right, 29 across. By way of, on itineraries. By way of, on itineraries. Is it via? Is correct. Right, 32 across. The opposite of black and white. The opposite of black and white. That's strange because we, we did the opposites as the anagram quest today and then there's an opposite question. <laughs> Is it colour? That's an interesting one. Colour. There we go. Spelt the wrong way though, isn't it? <laughs> we know if us Brits, the English way is has an extra U in there. It has, an, it has a U in there. Right then, 34 across. Annual NC AA Tournament two words annual ncaa tournament ah, i bet this is where the march part comes in i think you might be right est is it march madness now there's a special day in march what do you think the special day in my my in my calendar is in march not a birthday my favourite day of the year <laughs> in March. What do you think it is? St. Patrick's Day. That's my favourite day in March. Yeah, so we're going to do a St. Paddy's Day quiz and probably play a little bit of... We might have a little music round or something. And it actually falls on a Sunday this year, so I'm going to the 25th St. Patrick's Parade in Leeds this year. So I will be filming it probably... I'll probably film it, not go live, because I get a better quality then. And then I'll upload it so you can watch it. Right, 38 across. Cracked open as a door. Cracked open as a door. And my family surname, not my actual surname, but my ancestor surname is O'Neill, which is a very Irish name. And we've also got Irish in uh, the family as well, in my niece and nephew. Do we got? Do we die the Good Rivers Green? We don't know, but I know they do in Chicago, don't they? Okay, is it a jar? Is it a jar or a, a jar? <laughs> is correct. Well done. Right, forty-one across. Five letters. Perfect in every way. Perfect in a in every way. Is it Aiden? Oh, it's not Aiden. <laughs> Keep guessing. I thought it was going to be Aiden then. 
No. Is Mulligan an Irish? It is, yeah. Mulligan is an Irish name. Okay, the ideal is correct. Okay, 42 across. Crosswords, favourite cookie. Crosswords, favourite cookie. That could mean a bis that could mean a biscuit in because this is sort of an American style crossword, so maybe that is a biscuit, what we would call a biscuit. Is it Oreo? I wonder if they have that word a lot in this crossword. We have had it a few times. It is correct. Right, number forty three across. Two words. He was assassinated on the. I don't know what that says. Ides. Yeah, Ides of March. He was assassinated on the. Ides of March. Is it Julius Caesar? Julius. Is it Julius? Just wondering how to spell this. Not a U. Yeah, Julius. And then Caesar, S-E-R, isn't it? Yeah. Oop. O-R. No. U. No, I can't think. Is it A? Yeah. Sorry, guys. There we are. Julius Caesar. Right, 46 across. Five letters. IDs. IDs, that's the one. That's the one. Right, 46 across, at blank for words, two words, speechless. At blank for words, speechless. Is it a loss? Is correct. Okay, 47 across, Costa del Blanc, Spanish Resort Region, three letters. Costa del Blanc. Spanish Resort Region. Is it Sol, Costa del Sol? Do you know, it's I've many, many years since I've been to the Costa del Sol. Well done if you said that. Okay, I like Costa Brava. I think there's Costa Dorada. And um, is it Costa del Mar, I think? Unless I'm thinking somewhere else. Okay, well done. 48 across. Right, Mouse Hunter is your next one. Mouse Hunter. Three letters. Wow, the rain's really coming down here at the minute. Very, It's sort of sleety now. So maybe, maybe it will turn to snow. Costa de Mallorca. Is that where it is in Mallorca? Okay, 48 across. Is it Cat? Is correct. Well done. Right, 51 across. Another three letters. And your clue is see you later. See you later. You can use the down words to help. <laughs> bye. It probably is bye. Yep. But I'm not going anywhere. All right, fit, let's carry on. 52 across. A dress for a king. A dress for a king. I thought maybe palace or castle. Starts with the letter S. Hmm. Any guesses? Sire? Ah, so it's not the actual location, it was how you would address a king. Well done. Right, 56 across, five letters, and your clue is speechify. Speechify. Starts with the letter O. Is it a rate? It is correct. Right, two words, 58 across. It occurs a little over six weeks after Groundhog Day. Two words, remember. 
Yeah, it could be today, actually. But it occurs a little over six weeks after Groundhog. Actually, it can't be. Because so this is going to be the middle of March. Because Groundhog Day is the 2nd of February. This is two words. Starts with the letter V. Ooh. Not summer solstice. I was thinking on that lines like the yeah the, the spring solstice, but it's not spring. What does it start with with a V? Second letter is an E. Third letter is. Ah, no, it can't be Valentine's Day, because that's the 14th of Feb. V-E-R-N-A-L. This is a tricky one. E. Vanil. 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 Ah, I think I know the next part. You were right, we were right. Equinox. Yeah, the, I never heard of it that before. Vernal Equinox. But well done if you said if you said that, gave yourself the point. Okay, sixty two across. Hide and blank, kids game. Hide and blank, kids game. Is it seek? Yeah, of course it is. Well done, 64 across. Get a pet from the pond. Get a pet from the pond. Starts with the letter A. Is it adopt? Is correct. Right, 65 across. Singer Del Rey or actress Turner? Singer Del Rey or actress Turner? Is it Tina? Not Tina. Is it Lana? Is correct. Well done. Right, last six words to go, guys, and then I will ask you for a topic for some quiz questions. I think we'll do two topics today. So get thinking, right? 66 across. Fairy tale meanie. Fairy tale meanie. And this starts with the letter O. O. Any guesses? Second letter is, I think I know it, yeah, I got it just before that G appeared. I think of Shrek, although Shrek's not a, not a meanie. <clears throat> Any guesses? I'm thinking Ogre is correct. Right, 67 across. Photocopier supply. Was it was it banned? I can understand why that is blocked. It's not a nice word, really, but... <clears throat> okay, there are nice ogres out there as well. <laughs> okay, photocopier supply. Est is saying toner. It's not toner. Indigo saying paper. Is correct, right? Sixty eight across. I dream of Jeannie Star Barbara. I dream of Jeannie Star Barbara. Is it Eden? Is correct. Okay, sixty nine across. Constrictor snakes. Constrictor snakes. Is it Boas? Yeah, Boas is correct. Right, 70 across. Cedars and Sycamores. 
cedars and sycamores. Is it trees? It is correct. And your last one, Father's Day honorees. Father's Day honorees. Use the downwards to help. I think it starts with a, is it, is it a D to start with? Yep. And dads is correct. Well done, everyone. Wow, 18 minutes really and 29 spelling? seconds. Let's find out. That is very good. Very, very good. Right, let's cross the adverts off there. So, well done, everyone. Add your scores up so far. How many did you get out of the crosswords? If you're adding your, your points up. Uh, we're now going to do some trivia questions. So I want you to put in the comments a topic. Uh, think of a specific... any. So if you're thinking of, say, general knowledge... Think of something like within general knowledge or if you're thinking of films, maybe think of an actor or an actress. Um, it could be absolutely anything. So it might be something in your front room you want to learn a little bit more about. Put a topic in the chat and I will uh, we'll find some questions. So have a think. Pop it in the comments, guys. I'll give you a minute and I'll come back. Right, so what have we got? Any specific topics? Anything? I've not got anything written down, but I, I, if if we do... I like topics because I like to tailor it towards you guys that are here. So is there anything you want to learn anything about? Or maybe you're learning something at the minute and you want to learn a little bit more about something? For me, I would probably go for like... I don't know, something science-based or... Maybe like a favourite TV show. Any any uh, suggestions? So Indigo is saying plants. I like that one, yeah. So let's do plants. So here we go then. So we'll start with plants and then we'll do a second one. To see how we get on with these first. So... Here we go. Your first question. Oh, one second. One second, guys. Here we go. Right, question number one. <laughs> one minute, guys. Why is it whenever I say that, it never loads? Try that again. Sorry, guys. There we go. Nope, still hasn't worked. One minute. Have a think of another topic for the next round. Right, here we go. Question number one. What is the process by which plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen? What is the process by which plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Remember, if you need more time, pause the video on the replay, that is. Okay, and we have one correct answer in the chat, two correct answers in the chat, three correct answers. So well done, Jilly, Indigo, William. And well done, everyone who said photosynthesis. That is the correct answer. Right, question number two. Which plant is known as the king of fruits and is famous for its distinctive colour? Which plant is known as the king of fruits and is famous for its distinctive colour? So I'll let you think of this one first. No cheating, by the way. No, be, no searching on. No, don't be searching online for the answers. I sometimes allow that, but it's only ever if we ever get stuck. 
or it's a really tricky answer. So it's not mango. I'll give you a clue. It starts with the letter D, and I have heard of this before. I, th I think it's got a really distinctive smell as well. Yeah, odour, sorry, not colour. Why did I say colour? Yeah, that's right. And it's <laughs> which plant is known for the king of fruits, known as the king of fruits, and famous for its distinctive odour? I don't know why I said colour. Yeah, you got it right. Well done, everyone. The answer is, begins with the letter D. The answer is durian. I've never heard of that until a couple of weeks ago. Probably because it's only grown in certain areas in the world, possibly. I don't know. Right, question number three. What is the name of the pigment responsible for the green colour of plants? What is the name of the pigment responsible for the green colour of plants? Begins with the letter C. Ah, okay, Jilly says the, the video game Mario, the sunshine, Mario Sunshine, that was one of the fruits you had to gather up. So that was, is that one of the plants in the, in the game? I'll have to have a look at that. So, well done, guys. Yep, the answer is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Okay, question number four. What is the largest type of plant in the world by biomass? What is the largest type of plant in the world by biomass? It's a good question, this. I won't tell you what it starts with yet. Let's see some answers. It's a sequoia. Oh, sequ I can't say that, Jilly. Sorry, but sequoia, 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 sequoia tree. Okay, it's not coconut. It starts with the letter B. So, what is the largest type of plant in the world by biomass? So, I think you're thinking on the other side. William. So think of the opposite side. A much lighter plant. I'm surprised, first of all, it's a plant. I guess. Yes, it is, I guess. Not a banana plant. Starts with letter B. It's a good question, this. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is... Bamboo. Bamboo. There you go. Right, and question number five. What is the national flower of Japan known for its delicate beauty and symbolism in Japanese culture? There's also two names for this. So there's the Japanese name and the sort of English name. So whichever one... Whichever one you say, get you get po you get points. What is the national flower of Japan, known for its delicate beauty and symbolism in Japanese culture? Well done. Yep. So if you said cherry blossom, that is correct. And if you said sakura, sakura, or sakura, that also is correct. Well done. So there you go. There were five questions on plants. I will take another topic in the chat. So someone who's not had a go at having a chance of some questions, pop it in the comments and we'll do another set of questions. And then after today, my next live stream will be on Tuesday. So any topic, it can be anything at all. We even, we did cats, we did dogs, we've done... Uh, butterflies, exoskeleton. I should write all these topics down, shouldn't I? We did chocolates. 
can be absolutely anything. Oh, thank you for the friendship necklace, Indigo. Okay, any topics? I'll have a... Th I'm going to ask then, so let's do... Let's do five questions on... We did, like, new movies from the 90s as well, didn't we? Or music from the 90s. Let's do... Ooh. Let's say news from... I don't know, let's say... Can we say 2000? No, 2000. Gone off because of my screen. Let me go back on. Someone give me a year. I'll do five questions on news from a specific year. We won't use, We won't go for 2020. Should go for 2010? Let's go for 2010. I'm going to choose one. <laughs> That's my favourite year, so let's go for it. Here we go, then. Let's see what comes up. Right, question number one, or number six. Which European country faced a financial crisis in 2010, leading to a bailout package from the International Monetary Fund and the European Union? So which European country faced a financial crisis in 2010, leading to a bailout package from the International Monetary Fund and the European Union? So I'm looking for a country. Any guesses? <laughs> if I've gone quiet. European country. Okay, no answers. You're very quiet today, guys, on these ones. Maybe there's certain questions you're not sure of. Anyway, the answer was Greece. Okay, number seven. What environmental disaster occurred in April 2010 when an offshore oil rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico? What environmental disaster occurred in April 2010 when an offshore oil rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico? Any guesses? Remember, if you need more time on replay, just pause the video. The answer was Deep Water Horizon. Remember that so well. Deep Water Horizon. Question number eight. In July 2010, which country successfully hosted the FIFA World Cup? becoming the first African nation to do so. In July 2010, which country successfully hosted the FIFA World Cup, becoming the first African nation to do so? I think that's a nice easy one. So not Qatar. Not sure. I don't think Qatar's in Africa. <laughs> I don't think it is. Isn't it? Is it in the Middle East? Oh, you don't want to... The last question, I think we're going to avoid... I'm going to get a new question. Well, for, for the last one. Jilly's got it. Well done, Jilly. South Africa is the correct answer. Okay, number four. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce the answer to this one, but which volcano erupted in April 2010, causing widespread disruption to air travel across Europe due to the ash cloud? Now, you're probably not going to know the name of this volcano, so if you can give me the country, you can also get the points, because I cannot pronounce this. The volcano is called the I. Jaf 
Kala Jokul. <laughs> Can't even say it. Which country was it? It was in... Indigo's got it. Iceland. A little fact for you about Iceland and Greenland. The reason why it's called Iceland is because it was to stop... Um, can I say, like, migrants or whatever? It was to stop people going to Iceland because there was a lot of people going there at the time. So instead they had Greenland and it was it was seen to be a more warmer place. Does that make sense? Being called Greenland compared to Iceland. And that was the reason why they called it Iceland. Okay, I'm just going to get another question because the last question would have been not a good one. Okay. Right, in August 2010, which famous landmark celebrated its 125th anniversary with a series of events and exhibitions? In August 2010, which famous landmark celebrated its 125th anniversary with a series of events and exhibitions. I'll give you a clue. It's probably the City of Love. I'm looking for the landmark. Any guesses? Oh, Jilly's got it. Well done, Jilly. The answer is the Eiffel Tower. And just a little fact for you, because that was 125 years back in 2010, if you are familiar of the Blackpool Tower, the Blackpool Tower is older than the Eiffel Tower. Did you know that? So the Blackpool Tower was opened to the public in 1894. The Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889 and opened to the public or in the same year. Don't know how that... <laughs> I've just read that and it's... I don't know when it... Yeah, it must have opened in 1894. But the uh, Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889. The Blackpool Tower was um, completed in 1894. Oh, anyway, I think that's this. Sorry, I was just maybe looking at the information there. It looks completely wrong. So anyway, well done, everyone. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. And um, I'll be back on Tuesday. Do um, follow if you're new to the channel, of course. If you're watching on the replay, follow, like the video, subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications of when I'm live or when I post new videos. And we'll be back on Tuesday here on TikTok live with a Wordle, sorry, an anagram quest, a Wordle and some more trivia questions. So thank you for being here. Have a great day. It's absolutely throwing it down outside so yeah have a great weekend I'm, i think i'm going to a model railway this weekend so i'll try and do some videos um they usually have it in, a, in the same place and they've moved it to a garden center this year so there's going to be like lots of plants and um garden stuff they've got a cafe on the site and They've got all these like displays. So if you love like railways and miniature, you know, like miniature railway things. So that should be fun. I think I'm going there either tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not sure yet. So have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you back on Tuesday. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.